What's up, Bowflex family? I'm Amy, and today we are doing a total body kettlebell circuit. So we will be using one kettlebell, or if you have a couple of options of weights, you can use that. I'll be using my Bowflex adjustable kettlebell, so I'll be going back and forth between weights. I'll tell you what I'm using when I'm doing it. If you don't have a kettlebell and you have dumbbells, that works as well. The goal is just to get moving. Let's get our hearts pumping. Let's get our muscles working and have a good time, right? It is Monday, the first day, the first Monday in January, I should say. Let's do it, 2021. All right, so go ahead. I want you just to start just by marching or jogging. It is up to you. Whatever feels good. We're just going to get a quick little warm up just to get everything moving, get the blood flowing. You can roll those shoulders to the back and to the front. Get ourselves warm. Maybe it's cold where you are. I'm in Los Angeles. It's not that cold, but it feels cold to me this morning. So we'll get everything warm. We'll be warm before we know it. Big, deep breath in and out. Whew, and just wake up those muscles. And breathe one more. Good. And let's just do some little arm swings up and down. You can even do a little hinge. We're going to use that hinge, especially when we get to those kettlebell swings that we're going to do in between our circuits today. So we want to warm up through our back, through the back of the legs. Let's take those arms over and under. You can open them out wide. You're feeling tight in your shoulders like I am. A lot of us have that tight mobility and flexibility. We're gonna work on that today, don't worry. And then little side lunge, just reach, open it up. Gonna keep this warm up pretty short today and jump right in. So we're going in circuits that we'll go through two times. The first round of each circuit, we'll keep it pretty basic. Swearing your basic exercises, take it out. Let's roll it through our back. Always good to take it back to basics, even if you have been working out for a long time. It's still going to be challenging. Our second time through, we'll give you some ways to take it up a notch. If that's not where you are today, you just keep it with basics. You're still going to get a workout. Roll those shoulders, walk them in, tap out and reach across. These are going to be timed intervals in the circuit, so we'll go 45 seconds of work, followed by 15 seconds of rest. Once we get through two times, we'll get a quick little breather to grab some water. We'll do some swings, then I will show you our next round. It's going to move quickly. We're keeping it at about 30 minutes today. Let's bring the hamstrings up. Whew. Tighten those shoulders if you're like me today. Bring them down. And let's extend those legs out to the front. Big stretch. Go ahead and shake everything out. Grab your kettlebell. I'm gonna keep it at sort of a medium weight. Ooh, I'm gonna go 12. We're gonna put one foot forward. We're gonna start with just your basic lunge. So we'll keep it stationary in our second round. We'll move it a little bit. Zip up in that core. Here we go. We're dropping it down and we're pushing it up. So watch me here, 45 seconds. I want you to really get low. You've got 90 degrees, both legs push into that front heel and up. If you need to modify, you just keep it small. You're just going more into that front leg if that bothers your back knee. But if you can, we're dropping it down. Core's engaged, having the kettlebell on one side is gonna force us to engage that core even more. So try not to let it pull you down here Keep it here, nice and lifted. You got 10 seconds, a oh, little bit of balance, right? That's what I'm talking about. Five, four, three, two, shake it out. Let's do the same thing, other side. So again, we're gonna keep it stationary, zip up in the core, nice and wide with that stance, opposite hand, dropping it low. We got 45 seconds on this side. Here we go, getting down and up. Again, having the kettlebell on one side is gonna pull you just a bit. That balance is gonna make our core work even harder, but pay attention to that posture, drop it low, press it up. 
weight in that front heel. Both legs are working, but if you focus on that front heel really pushing through, so we recruit those glutes, we get the hamstrings helping. We're here. You are over halfway there, 15 seconds to go. Again, watch that posture, pull it here. I'll remind you as I remind myself. Breathe, five, four, three, two, and shake it out. All right, so let's go to our upper body. We're gonna alternate our rows. So nice wide stance, shoulders back. We're gonna go one row, then switch your hands, one row. So try to stay low the whole time. If you need to come up in between, go for it. So hinge, row, switch your hands, row, switch your hands. So we're here and we're here. My back is flat the whole time. I'm making sure I'm not rounding here or looking up. Nice neutral alignment. Again, if you need to come up in between, give your back a little bit of a break, then hinge again. Here we go. So we're alternating side to side, one elbow up. Yes, 15 seconds, flat back. We're here, yes. Breathe, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, good, let's take it down for some quick core. You can set your kettlebell out of the way. We're gonna go high plank out on our hands if that feels okay for you. Go ahead and join me here, starting here, 45 seconds. And then if you can, we're gonna bring the knees in, take the knees out. So it's to that bare plank. So knees come right beneath the hips, here, here. If you need to modify, I want you to take it to all fours and you can just walk it back and walk it in. Walk it back, walk it in. But if you can, keep those knees off the whole time and we get a little extra bonus in that core. In, in, out, out. 10 seconds to go. Again, knees are coming right beneath the hips. Three, two, one, stretch it back. How about we do all of that again? Whoo, starting with that lunge, here's the change you can make. If you wanna hold that kettlebell at your chest, you'll get that core and arms working a little bit harder. Go ahead and set it up. We're gonna lunge it. So again, couple of options, if you wanna make it harder. We're here, kettlebell at your chest. You can also make it a moving plank. If this feels like too much, you just go back to where we were, or you can even just do body weight. You be where you are today. It's January 4th, maybe we have some newbies joining us. As long as you're moving, that is all that I care about today. Staying safe, keeping moving. Take that challenge if you want. 15 seconds. Kettlebell at your chest, arms are working, core is working, and of course, legs and cardio. Do you feel that heart rate? Five, four, three, two, and breathe. 15 seconds to breathe. All of that on the other side. So zip up in that core. If you want the challenge, hold it by the horns at your chest. We can step back into it or we can keep it stationary. Here we go, 45, down and up. Again, getting that challenge with the arms working, core working, we're moving through it. But of course, if you wanna keep it stationary here or here, that works as well. Or if you wanna do body weight. Good, keep it going, we are halfway there. After this, lunges are done. Breathe. Don't forget about that core. I know it's easy to be thinking about the legs and arms because we feel them the most, right? Well, let's finish up for 10. Breathe, weight in the front heel, push out of it. Five, four, three, two, relax. Drop it down, give your hands a little bit of a stretch from that. All right, if you want, we're gonna come up in between, little hinge to get a little deadlift with that row. Start with that kettlebell down on the ground. Watch me here. I'm gonna row, row, all the way up, join me. Row, row, either with the kettlebell or if you wanna row from the ground, 
and just make it a little body weight hinge. That works too. But I want you to really get low, pulling that kettlebell up from the ground so we really use gravity to get that back working. You're halfway there. So two rows and a hinge, bring it up. So sneaking in a little deadlift there. Elbow up and up. Yes, five seconds. Three, two, one, finish it out. Yes, relax, arms up. Let's take it down to our plank. This circuit is almost done. So you can keep what we just did or you can take it up a notch. Go ahead and bring it here. What we just did here to here. Or if you want, you can do a little run with it or even a jump. So in, out. Watch my knees, they're coming in. What we're not doing is here. I want you to really bring them underneath your hips. So like a bear, right? So low impact, you're still working that core really hard. If you want, you can pick up your pace or add a little jump to it. Nice and light, core is engaged. And again, you can also go from the knees up. That feels a little better. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. Stretch it out. Whew. All right, guys, let's get set up for some swings. This is the little bonus that we're putting at the end of every circuit. That circuit is done. I'm gonna go a little heavier. So a little trick, guys, is if whew, you were feeling like you're new to this swing, I want you just to go to that hinge. Just that deadlift, kind of like we did at the end of our row. That is your modification, and that is the prep for this swing. If you can, we're gonna swing it, really drive those hips back, power it up. It's actually easier to get good form with a heavier kettlebell. So if you've done swings before, take it a little heavier. I want you to zip up in that core, grab it in the center between your feet, hike it back, three, two, power it up with the swing. <laughs> Breathe out of the top, so a little trick huh, from when I first did my kettlebell training is to really make that breath audible. <sighs> that helps you lock everything out. So that's what we wanna do here, right? Really squeeze in the glutes, squeeze in the hamstrings, up through the back and core. So if you breathe out, push the air out on that exhale, that'll help with that deeper contraction, right? Four, three, two, one, I want you to let it swing and relax. Pedal those feet, get a little stretch right here. Let's go ahead and grab a sip of water. So we're gonna use that swing in between our circuits as a power move and also as a little cardio bonus, right? That's what I love about swings. It feels like cardio, but not till after you're done, right? You're swinging, you get in the rhythm, you don't realize your heart rate is up that high until you finish. Okay, so you keep moving. You can tap it out or hop it out. Watch me as I talk you through your next circuit. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter again, but it is up to you. Goblet squat. So you know it, you can either hold the kettlebell here or you can flip it and you're gonna sit as low as you can, knees out wide, press up through the heels. You know it, I want you to get as low as you can. That's what I love about this, both legs adjustable. It's actually easier to hold in that flip position. Then we're gonna go curl and press. Again, same idea, holding here or here. We're gonna do biceps, we're gonna press it straight up. Core's engaged. We'll add a little on that second round. And then we're gonna take it to that windmill, 20 seconds each side. You can go low with it for the core, or traditional windmill, straight up. We're gonna take it here to here. 20 seconds on the right, five seconds to switch, 20 seconds on the left. Are you ready? I think so. Hold that kettlebell here or here. Goblet squat, starting in three, two, one, get low. Drop it down and bring it up. Drop it down and bring it up. In that goblet, it helps to really let yourself hang out for a count. That ensures that you get super low. Sometimes we get going quick with it. 
we forget that we want to get past those knees if we can, if that feels good for you. And again, kettlebell can be in the center. This round is really going to get those biceps. So do what feels most comfortable for you. I'm going to hold it here. Into the heels. Drive it up. Into the heels. Chest is lifted. Chest is open and proud right where that kettlebell is. Five, four, three, two. Last one. Relax. Give your hands a little break because we're going into that curl and press. Again, this round is going to get those biceps. You can hold it at the top. You can hold it at the bottom. I'm going to put one foot back for balance. Here we go. Curl to the chest, press it up, down and down. And that press can be a little bit out in front of your body. You don't have to go full extension with your arms unless you want to. Sometimes when we do that, if it's heavier, we lean into it. That's why we have the one foot back. But if you can, just out in front of your body, that will keep the core engaged. If you're flipped, same idea. We're here, you're curling, you're pressing, you're down, you're down. Up to you, 10 seconds. Yes, strong arms and shoulders. Five, four, three, two, relax. Drop it down again, stretch those thumbs back, go into that windmill. So we're gonna set up, turn the toe out, we're gonna drive that hip. You can go low with it, you can go high. I'm gonna start low, I'll show you both. Here we go, 20 seconds. Drive that hip out, and you're looking up at that hand. If you got the kettlebell up top, take it here. Straight up, we call it spotting the bell. I want you to look up at it. Five seconds this side, then we will switch. Three, two, one. Go ahead and switch. Other side, you can take it low, you can take it high. Join me. Low, you're here. That kettlebell is coming right down the front of that leg. Toe is turned out. Or here, straight up. If that bothers your shoulder or your back at all, keep it low. You're still going to get a lot of core, and you're still going to get that flexibility. Three two, one, relax. Can we do it all again? I think we can. This time with that goblet squat, let's add a little pulse at the bottom. Why not? Grab that kettlebell wherever you are. Watch me, join me. Three, two, one, pulse it up. If that feels like too much burn, you just keep that regular goblet squat. But if you can, let's get a little Pulse into the heels, that's gonna force us to stay down. What we were just talking about, you gotta stay low, lower than those hips, kettlebell grip wherever it is most comfortable. Ooh, 15 seconds, make it burn. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, ooh, I'm feeling it. Into my heels, three, two, one, relax. Ooh, again, little stretch. Open up the arms with the biceps and the press. If you want, we're gonna add a little rotation. Pivot on the knees and the hips. Grab that kettlebell in the center. Here we go. Here are your options. Curl and press, just like we did before, or curl, rotational press. So I'm adding a little pivot of my knees and my hips, turn. If that doesn't feel good for you, you just keep the stationary. I want you to really pay attention to pivoting full body rotation, not just here. We want the core working, but also mobility in the hips, right? 10 seconds to go, up and press. With or without that rotation, Good, and relax. Stretch it out, windmill one more time. If you went low before, can you go higher? Try it, see how it feels. If you wanna stay low, nothing wrong with that. You are here. Let's take it 20 seconds, one side. Hip out, going down the front of that leg. Take it here, straight up. Down and up, spot the bell, looking up. 
20 seconds is pretty short. You can do it. Three, two, one. Switch your sides. Rack it here. Take it up. Drop it down. This is my tighter side, I can tell. So I'm really going to focus on that shoulder girdle mobility. Bringing my arm right by the side of my head to make sure I'm getting that stretch and that mobility work. Three, two, one. Relax. You did it. How about we swing again? Why not? Again, I'm going to go heavier. I'm going to go up to 20. Ah, I'm going to go 25. Like I said, guys, if you've never done a swing, you just keep that hinge unless you want to try it. If you want to try it and you got something heavier, I promise it's easier to get good form to keep it low where we want it to be. So kettlebell right between the feet, roll those shoulders back, take it here, prep it, deadlift, hinge if you want, or power it up with the swing. Here we go, up. Again, breathe out at the top. We're keeping that kettlebell chest level or below. This is your traditional swing. I think it's the safest way to do it. Sometimes people go over the head. We're gonna keep it here today. Breathe out, lock out. I know it's one of the few times we tell you to lock out the legs and glutes and the knees. Let's go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, let it swing, pedal those feet, get a little stretch here. How are we doing team? Did that get your heart pumping? I hope so. Grab a sip of water. We're into our last round. You keep it moving here and breathe. Watch me. We're going side lunge. We're gonna alternate. Drop it into the hip, step through, drop it into the hip. We're gonna put our kettlebell in the center. We're gonna do a push up tap. So knees or toes, you're going down. Tapping, tapping. So we get some chest, we get some tries. Then we'll flip on our backs. We'll get a little version of a crunch. I'll tell you when we get there. Grab your kettlebell. I'm gonna go back. Woo! You know what? I'm just gonna take it to 20. I'm gonna keep it heavy. Last round, let's push it. Here we go. Lateral lunge to the side. Drive those hips back, press it up. Drive the hips back, press it up. I'm keeping my kettlebell between two hands and trying to get as low as I can, driving my hips back so it looks like that squat format, but touching the kettlebell down. You also can alternate, switching your hand off, crossing that kettlebell to the opposite foot. It's up to you. But drive the hips back, get low, straight leg, bent leg. You get a stretch out of it and you get lots of strength, right? <sighs> Breathe. Remember, you can also do this with no weight. If that's where you are, five, four, three, two, and breathe. All right, take it down. Kettlebell is gonna be a little bit in front of you, so we really have to reach for it for core. So we're here, you can be knees, knees or toes. Join me here. So strong push up, two taps. I gotta come a little closer. Knees are fine too. Maybe you're like me. You got a tight shoulder from an old injury. For me, it's better for me to stay on my knees and get lower, but it is up to you. If you wanna stay on those toes and have a shorter range of motion, whatever works for you, you're still being challenged. We're still getting chest, shoulders, triceps, and a lot of core. 15 seconds, you can do that push up and then come up to the toes for that tap. And up, tap, tap and up, tap. Last one, can you get that push up in? Stretch it back, Oh, Stay where you are, flip on your back. We're gonna do a little crunch in and out. So watch me here, everything in really tight and then really long, join me. So elbows to knees, little lift, hands to toes. You can keep it nice and tight here or 
Really take it long. In, long, up, breathe out. In, long, up. Modification is just to keep it pretty small or you can even just go one knee at a time. Lots of options. We're in the home stretch team. We got one more round of the circuit. Good. Everything in. Reach it long. Last one. Yes. Hug those knees in. Bring it back up. Last time through. Let's take it to that side lunge. Pick it up. If you want, hold that kettlebell up high. Here we go. So side lunge, push through. Side lunge, push through or keep it low. In some ways, it's more challenging to keep it low and force yourself to really get down there in the hip and touch the kettlebell. Here, so I'm gonna stay here, but it's up to you. Last round through, we are almost done. Hips to the back, push out of it. So in this lateral lunge, we're really focusing on those hips, those glutes, but obviously all throughout the lower body and heart rate as well. Five, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath, bring it down. Push up one more time. Can you push yourself? Can you go a little lower on those push-ups? We're up to the toes. And then with those taps, let's do it. Here we go. Down, tap, tap. Or here, down, tap, tap. You can also do that quadruped push-up and bring it up in between or stay on those knees. So many options as long as you're moving and you're working. It's Monday, you can do it. You showed up today, so you are already successful just by being here. So don't talk yourself out of this, because you're already doing it. Yes, you can. Finish it out. Five, four, three, two, stretch, good. Breathe. Oh. On your back. Here we go. Last time with that crunch. If you can, lift the hips, lift the shoulders, extend it out long. Here, join me. Nice and tight, and then release all the way up and release. Focusing on pulling that deep core in. So check in with yourself. If you feel like you're pushing it out, instead of pulling in with the core, make it a little tighter. You can even go a little higher with those legs. I would rather you have good form and good engagement. <sighs> Breathe. If getting super low is gonna pull you out of alignment, just make it a little bit smaller. 10 seconds, hopefully that core is burning, I know mine is. Up, five, four, three, two, one, relax. Our circuits are done. How about we do one more swing? Oh, I'm doing it, guys. I'm gonna go heavy. If you got an option to go heavy, I know we're tired, but you are strong. Oh, I'm going 35. This kettlebell only goes up to 40. All right, last time with your swing. Then we'll get a quick stretch and cool down. Again, if you want, you can just stick with that deadlift. It's up to you. If you can, oh, this feels heavy, but I'm excited about it. Prep it back. Three, two, power it up. Last time. <sighs> because it's heavier, I gotta really use that glute strength. Again, that's why heavier a lot of times helps us get that good form on the swing. I can't use my arms at all at this. <sighs> so I gotta have perfectly back loaded, <sighs> which is what we want. <sighs> Keep it going, finish strong. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let it swing and relax. Oh, pedal those feet. You guys, 
The difference in my heart rate when I go heavier is a lot, right? So I always say this in my workouts, but heavier weights burn more calories and that is why it takes more effort, more energy for me to lift or swing something heavy. Let's open those arms up. So my heart rate's gonna get up more. I'm gonna be burning more calories. This is also why I always say you can get your cardio through your strength training. In these workouts, you've heard of it, HIT interval training, you can get it in. Lots of great ways to get cardio, but you can also get it with your strength. Take it up over to the side, let your head drop. Ooh, how do we feel team? I hope you feel good, I do. Other side. <sighs> When I first picked up that kettlebell for that last swing at 35, I thought, eh, I don't know about this, but I did it. I had to think a little harder. I had to concentrate on that form, pull that toe towards you because I'm tired, but you can do it. Trust your body. And remember, you showed up, so you're already winning. Other side. Make sure you check out all of the other workouts here on the Bowflex channel. And don't forget to subscribe so you always know when we release something new. Let's take those legs out wide, roll the shoulders here. And be on the lookout for more live workouts. We have Brie later this week, and I will be back next Monday as well, alternating between dumbbell and kettlebell. Again, if you don't have one, just bring what you got. We just want you to show up and keep moving. Walk it in, round it up through your back. One last little stretch here. Let's press those fingertips down. Let your head drop. So we stretch all the way through here. I know a lot of us are working from home these days and if we can get these stretches throughout our day. We're doing a lot of this, right? A lot of this. So really make sure you're taking the time to get out of that chair and get a few stretches other side and get moving. Whew. 30 minutes or less, we got it all in. Thank you for showing up today, for moving with me. Check out all the other workouts on the Bowflex channel. Hit that subscribe button. I will see you next Monday. One big deep breath in and out. Whew. That was your kettlebell circuit. Have a great day, everybody.